What's up guys, Sky Kevin here. And the quality update has been out for a couple of days now, so I thought I'd give my thoughts on how they did with the new event tile maps. So, let's get started. So, the newly anticipated quality maps are out. Interestingly, since the update has transpired, we've seen a constant uptick of average players every day since then. I think there are two reasons this is the case. First, we have the return of players looking to get higher quality gear. Essentially, after the last announcement, all that quality was going to be wiped, so there was certainly an exodus of players who didn't feel like it was worth it to play the game and grind out any quality knowing full well that their gear would eventually be reset to common once again. The second, are players coming back to PvP driven maps with the opportunity to now find content. Indeed, I've personally gotten into a few fights myself when heading into the quality tiles as it concentrates a lot of the population headed there for the duration that they're open. I'd say it's very similar to the previous event tiles that we've had in past seasons, but in this case, it meets a nice balance where most people head there looking to farm some quality materials and end up getting into a fight with nearby walkers as a result organically. I think it's a good job of creating that feeling when you're not planning to head there for a large fight or just to go get zerged and rather, you're there to get in and get out with the materials that you harvest. I've actually heard a few stories so far where clans have had to start with a mediocre fight like this and then it evolves into a much larger fight as they bring more people into the fold. Of course, this does become an issue with the current low cap on many of the event tiles being usually 1-6 to six players. So things are starting to work out moderately well for what the devs had planned for quality tiles. Personally, I'm not a fan of them being event tiles. As I said on one of my previous videos, I think they should have kept the distance being a factor to heading into the quality and simply made it a journey that you take on your walker. As you journey farther from the PvE tiles, you'd find the average rarity level increase as you make that distance. They could even make it so that the portals to return home only take one jump rather than having to backtrack your way home after your journey. I will say, I actually do like the fact that there's a healthy mix of different qualities that spawn on the rarity tile. So instead of always finding either common or legendary, now you actually have to search for the good stuff. I think if they had added this to the previous way that tiles were designed while being static, it might have really helped to lower the amount of legendary everything that players had available to them. Base rating is now a thing as well. As a result, I haven't seen or heard of anyone being on the PvP tiles. As I predicted, the risk of losing your stuff has pushed everyone off of these tiles as the benefits to being completely safe on a PvE tile now far outweigh being on the PvP ones where you can get offline rated. I really like how they managed weapon damage towards base rating and making it a much simpler system where you can take out walls using a specialty of ammunition but you can still mass farm the cheap ammo in order to break through. Instead, it will take resources for every wall that you break, so you don't have to farm a hyper-specific fire arrow or scatter shot. Instead, you can just use the ammo that you find while traversing the oasis. I haven't gotten to see or experience an online raid, however, because there really hasn't been any activity on these tiles as a result. I will say, one great addition to the game here would be to allow automaton on bases to behave like the Rubu turret AI that they have currently on camps. I think if someone gets close to my base, having a lot of automaton on the top to tear a walker down would be a fair compromise to at the very least prevent any offline base rating. Still, despite my suggestions here for what I think they should have done for quality, I think the fact that they added base rating in again, as well as these rarity maps, we can say the game is certainly a lot more fun now. That is, people are actually going out looking for materials on a map where they have to risk their walker and everything on it to hopefully get their quality materials. Another change that I think a lot of people didn't really notice was the addition of lockboxes back into the game as well. I am very, very hyped about this because that means now you can get ceramic tier gear in the game. All you have to do is bring 3000 flots to some wandering merchants and those boxes now have a chance at dropping it. To me, this is a fantastic way to utilize flots and to make them have a significant value put back into the game, while still making it a lucky chance to drop that exceptional piece of equipment. Lastly, I did want to talk about the drawbacks of the current update. They removed the disassemble returning 100% of the resources, which I know was necessary but oh so nice for when I was reassembling my base. As well, there seems to be no way to currently harvest quality rupu vines from the camps on the quality tiles. Perhaps this is only a personal issue, but it seems as though every time that I've made an attempt to do so, 
it just comes back with common vines. Luckily, there is a way around this by farming the correct bone-based gathering tools to move up to the tiers, but I really think they should have a hotfix come in at some point addressing this problem as it makes the upward grind to legendary quality tools pretty tedious as you have to game around the system. Otherwise though, it seems like everything so far has been some good additions, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how things progress with Sleeping Giants maps that are going to be coming out soon. That one will have PvE maps associated with it, and you'll be able to upgrade your common materials to quality with flots. So it's a good idea to hold on to any rare blueprints that you find. I don't know how much it will cost, but I like the idea of adding more value to flots, which should make players utilize the trade stations more efficiently. It'll make them quite important going forward, and allow those players that just want to focus on PvE a form of progression. I'm curious to see how this will have an effect on the amount of players going to the rarity event tiles, but that remains to be seen on a balance of how they figure out the difficulty of getting rarity in the event tiles versus the difficulty of upgrading rarity with flots. That's it for today. Let me know what you think of the event tiles so far in the comments down below. I always respond to everybody. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.